Everyone experiences a fire differently. We have sesame, which is kind of like calm about it. Oh, fire. Oh my goodness. What's the procedure? What? What's the procedure? Oh, there's a fire. Then we have 11 lives. Oh, fire. Oh my goodness. What's the procedure? What to- Slightly more urgency in their voice. And we have the newest and greatest AI text-to-speech model, Daya, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What's the procedure? What do we do, people? The smoke could be coming through an air duct! Oh my god! <laughs> that is wild. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to access this, how to install it locally, and not only install it locally, you're going to learn how to install any AI software locally with ease. If you don't have the hardware, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to access it through the web as well. Before we jump into that, I just want to show you a couple of other examples because it is really cool. So if you go on this website and I will have all the links in the description below you will need, you can see different usage. So they have an input script. It does characters. So we have the first person, speaker one, speaker two, and it goes back and forth. So we can actually see a comparison of 11 labs and Sesame two of the other most popular models, and we can do a comparison. So Daya is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Try it now. On wow, amazing, and they laugh. So by comparison. Amazing, haha. Uh -huh. Try it. Ha ha. Like a real laugh versus just a ha ha, or we have Sesame. Yeah, it is a model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing, ha ha. Try it now. Uh -huh. So you can tell the difference. This is a much better model in terms of making voices. So they had the fun examples. That was the one I just showed you. And they have some other ones. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. And before I show you how to access this and use it, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I cover the latest and greatest AI every single day so you can stay up to date with the latest trends. It's completely free. So click the subscribe, help me out. Let's continue. Now, the easiest way to access this is through Hugging Face. And I'll have the link in the description below. You can have your input text here. So you can do speaker one, speaker two, speaker one, speaker two, and you can fill out a little dialogue that you want them to say. We can also upload an audio prompt. So we have two options. We can upload an audio or we can toggle to the voice option. We can select the microphone we wanna use and then we can record. We also have generation parameters and you can see all the different tokens and everything else that you can set. So we can set a scale, a temperature. I like that they actually put what each one is. So it's like, how random do you want it to be? And lastly, there are some examples here. So we can click any of the two examples. It'll automatically fill out the dialogue for us. When we're ready, we can hit generate audio and it will generate an audio back and forth similar to the examples I just showed you. You can see my sample prompt here and here it is playing. Franklin is the best. I agree. I have to play around with the settings a little bit more, but that's my first attempt. That is to run through the web. If you want to install this locally, you need a pretty decent GPU. I believe they request at least 10 gigabytes of VRAM. So with that out of the way, if you want to install locally and if you've ever been to a GitHub, you know that sometimes the instructions that they give you is pretty hard and confusing. I am a programmer. I've been programming for a very long time. To follow the instructions, I can do it all, but it is time confusing and I don't have time for that. So I found a very good way of doing this which makes it a lot easier. So let me show you. I am on their GitHub right now. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to highlight all this. We're just gonna copy all the way down. We're gonna hit copy. In one of my more recent videos, I talked about an app called Augment, which is an app for coding, but it also has access to your terminal. So that means we can use it to actually install this or install anything we want off of GitHub. It will do all the heavy lifting for us. So truthfully, I just copied and pasted this all in to do a test. And then I left and went for a walk. I came back and I had access to it. So let me show you how simple it is. If you want to learn how to set up Augment and VS Code, I have another link in the description below for that video. We are on VS Code now. We have a folder called Voice. There's nothing in it. We're going to hit Augment. We're going to make sure our agent auto is selected. And we're going to literally just paste in everything we got off of the GitHub. So it is going to read through. It's going to make a plan to install everything we need to make it work. And then it's actually going to run it. And then eventually it's going to say, open up your browser and you can have access to everything you need. So you can see here, it has opened up the terminal for us. It's figuring out the directory. It's figuring out the correct path and everything it needs to know to get this installed. So you no longer have to fiddle with installation if you just follow this step. And right now, Augment is free. I'm not a sponsor or anything. Just think it's an absolutely brilliant 
program. So as you can see now, it is trying different approaches. It is actually installing and cloning everything we need. So it is going through the entire GitHub repository and all the information we just gave it here, and it will go through everything we need, move all the files and create everything. It does it all. So we can see here, here's a directory. It is cloned. It is going through it all. We can leave. We'll come back to when it's installed. So I'll be back in a bit. So I left, went and grabbed dinner, and I came back to this where it went through every step in the terminal. You can see everything is done. It started the application, so it is running on my local host. So here it is on my local host, which is basically identical to the one you have on Hugging Face. So if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can actually get this running locally. Truthfully, the Hugging Face link I will post, it depends on the amount of usage at the given time. Sometimes it might fail, other times it will work locally running my RTX 5090, it will take several minutes to get one audio clip generated. So you can see what the process is on how to get this installed and which route you want to go, but that pretty much covers everything you need to know to get this running local or run it on the web. And if you're running locally, this new method I found where I can like literally walk away and it'll do everything for you is pretty cool. And subscribe if you just wanna stay up to date with the latest and greatest AI content. Don't forget to leave a like on the video because it tells the algorithm you like this kind of stuff and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Have you been able to run it? Truthfully, again, I had a hard time with the Hugging Face one. I've only been able to run it locally. It takes several minutes, even with my RTX 5090, but still pretty cool. So that's all I got for today and I'll see you in the next one. AI tools, AI